स्टार्ट मैं ओके गुड आफ्टरनून रेस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल सर वाइस प्रिंसिपल सर आवर टू कोऑर्डिनेटर मैम एंड ऑल टीचर्स प्रेजेंट हियर आई वुड आई आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन टू डेज इन हाउस ट्रेनिंग सेशन बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक आवर प्रिंसिपल सर वाइस प्रिंसिपल सर and coordinate coordinator ma'am for providing me this opportunity my topic for today's session is selection of effective teaching learning material sarita keep your video on okay sir now i am going to share my screen actually is it visible to all yes yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am sir is yes okay sir thank you so as i told earlier my topic for today's session is selection of effective teaching and learning materials everyone must have heard this famous chinese proverb i hear i forget i see i remember i do i understand this is closely linked with the education and is directly related to how people learn and understand things in school and how uh, how we can utilize that for better education in general we remember only 20% of what we hear 30% of what we see 50% of what hear and see but we remember 90% of what we say and do now let's see what are uh, the meaning first then i will come to definition of uh, teaching and learning materials here there are two words teaching and learning materials let's try to understand the meanings of both separately teaching materials are the physical resources that a teacher use to assist students in achieving the set learning outcome whereas learning materials are the aids used by the learners to help him or her learn effectively teaching materials are things like a textbook worksheet blackboard whiteboard etc the teaching and learning materials can be brought or made easily by both the facilitator and the learner and they can be 
big or small but before defining the term again i would like to explain a little bit on the two terms teaching learning material and teaching aids there is a thin line of difference between teaching aids and teaching learning materials which is a commonly used acronym teaching aids a uh, teaching learning material is also known as tlm so this is a very commonly used acronym for this full form teaching learning materials the difference lies in the fact that tlms are usually a part of curriculum on the other hand teaching aids are used as an extra material that help the uh, help to make the learning smooth so what is the main difference between tlms and teaching aids roughly we can think of teaching aids as uh, hardware and tlms as the software so finally we can say that a teaching aid is a tool or technology that is used to support teaching whereas teaching learning materials are the materials that have the actual target lesson in them uh let me explain it with some examples few examples uh if a test tube or a conical flask is used as uh, suggested in the textbook it is an instructional material whereas if the teacher brings these apparatuses while a discussion about the lab equipments it becomes a teaching aid similarly if uh, someone is using a document camera and projector to project a textbook uh, onto a screen for the students to see the document camera and the projectors they are the teaching aids but the textbook is a learning material again i am giving one example from my subject uh, because it is coming naturally in my mind if uh, if you are uh, studying algae under the microscope in this case microscope would be an instructional material if a course based learning goal is using a microscope to study microscopic entities or organisms however a microscope would be learning aids for the theory class on algae teacher could use one to show the students what it looks like in order to engage the class in learning about algae i hope it is clear now today with the
the student need an ever increasing number of materials sarita so ma'am your voice is uh, not clearly uh, audible uh okay sadam i am explaining uh about the main purposes is it uh, clear now yes ma'am yes no no everyone is having problem it's okay sir the teacher okay it's why yes, today with the emphasis on learning student focus methodology the students need an ever increasing number of materials to improve their ability to learn together or independently so tlms becomes fundamental to have a superior audio not clear ma'am sorry i am trying what is the problem you keep know. your mic little far from your okay is it okay now is yes. it okay yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma okay so tlm becomes fundamental to have a superior comprehension of the nature of the subject matter so now let's see what are the main purposes of teaching learning material the first point is it makes lesson interesting it also makes it real practical and help in bringing reality and freshness because everything is available in the book now nowadays so students will not pay attention unless and until you are not giving them the same in some different way second point it also help learning that is what has been learned to remain in the mind of the learners for a long time third point it motivates the students to learn but arousing their interest in the subject by arousing their interest in the subject sorry next point it also helps the teacher to deliver his or her lesson successfully and easily it enables the teachers to express intended cons concepts of learning effectively next is they are the things and ideas which are familiar to the learners and it facilitates holistic learning effective tlms do many of the things a teacher would normally do as a part of his or her teaching it arouses the learners interest uh, with the help of effective teaching learning materials students actually uh, get attracted 
or gain attention which makes them to learn and understand the things smoothly suppose uh, you are teaching parts of a flower theoretically it would be not so effective but when you will use an instructional or tlm material maybe uh, in the form of chart or model or a real flower it will create the interest among the students it also reminds them of earlier learning because uh, they can easily relate the things whatever they have seen previously it also help them to guess or tell that uh, what they will be learning next it also explains them the new learning content and it also sets clear learning targets and provides them with strategic strategies to use in learning it provides opportunity for meaningful practices my next slide is about why do we need teaching learning materials so first point is to make learning of new ideas simpler learning of new ideas becomes simpler if the student is given recognizable materials linked with the subject matter next to increase creativity typically little children are drawn to objects of various tones and measures and show their interest in controlling these in different manners which when fed continuously assist with fostering a propensity for playing with an assortment of articles this aids in upgrading their creativity for self learning these tlms are required for compelling self learning with the utilization of proper materials one can learn on their own with absolute power over their speed of learning and it also uh, <coughs> needed for uh, because it creates cordial environment by utilizing tlm teacher turns amicable means friendly a cordial environment is constructed which significantly help in learning now i am going to uh, explain on 
Edler's Dale's Cone of Experience, which is actually, uh, which actually says the progress of learning experiences uh, is it starts from concrete level to abstract level. So it is actually a, a visual model. It is having 11 stages, starting from concrete experiences at the bottom. Here it is. It is having uh, concrete uh, model um, levels at the base. And it becomes more and more abstract as it reaches the peak of the cone. Also, according to Dale, the arrangement in the cone is not uh, based on its difficulty, but rather based on the abstract is abstraction and the uh, on the number of senses involved. The experience in each stages can be mixed and are interrelated that foster more meaningful learning. So as you see, there are uh, different stages. The dark blue one is denoting direct uh, purposeful experience. After that, uh, other uh, levels are there. Uh, the very first is direct purposeful experience. So what is what are these direct purposeful experiences? They are the first hand experience which serves as the foundation of learning. So in this level, more senses are used in order to build up the knowledge. Also, in this level, the learner learn by doing things by himself or herself. And learning happens through actual hand-on experience. This level of Uh, this level also explains and proves one of the principle in the uh, selection and use of teaching strategies. The more senses that are involved in learning will be, sorry, the more senses that are involved in learning more and better the learning will be. Means if we are using more senses, learning will be become better and better instead of one. This level also proves that educational technology is not limited to the and softwares that are commercially available nowadays. This shows that even the simple opportunities that is given to the child could uh, help them to learn. So we can, we, uh, we can say that uh, this uh, direct purposeful, purposeful experience means the first hand experience which is having a direct participation in the outcome and it uses all our senses after this the second level is conceived experience like uh, uh, using models mocks etc 
editing the reality so it is uh, necessary when real experiences can be used or are too complicated okay next level is dramatized experience these are reconstructed experiences can be used to simplify an event or idea to its most important parts and it is uh, divided into two categories acting and observing so actual particip actual participation means more concrete so it is act, uh, act it is the first category actual and observing means watching a dramatization which is uh, more abstract someone if someone is acting it is in uh, involved that is actual and someone uh, as a viewer it is abstract next level is demonstration it means visualized explanation of an important facts idea or process it shows how certain things are done next level after demonstration is field trip and examples are watch people do things in real situations or observe an event that is unavailable in the classroom situation next is exhibit exhibits uh these are some things seen by a spectator like uh, our school exhibition or art exhibition these are also of two types ready made it may be ready made it may be home made then educational tv and motion picture next level so tv uh, we all know it brings immediate interaction with event from around the world whereas motion picture they can omit unnecessary or unimportant materials next level recording radio still picture they can often uh, understood by those who can't read say um, visually challenged people so uh, helpful for the students deal with the who can't deal with the motion or, and the pace of the real event then visual symbols they no longer involve reproducing real situation visual symbols so um, chalkboard or overhead projector they are the most widely used media in this category it helps the student see an idea event or process and uh, on the top it is verbal symbol verbal symbol again it is of two types uh, like written words which are more abstract whereas spoken words they are less abstract so this uh, slide is actually uh, illustration of the previous terms in uh, in uh, terms of percentage like uh, it shows after two weeks we tend to remember if we are reading something if we uh, reading a book or something else only 10% of what we read is remember we remember only 20% of what we hear 
30 percent of what we see already uh, i have uh, shown all these things in the first slide only 50 percent of what we see and hear 70 percent of what we see and the 90 percent maximum of what we see and do This slide is showing a teaching learning material altogether. So on my left side, circle is showing teaching material. On my right side, circle is showing learning material. And which is common in the center. That is, uh, it comes uh, in teaching material also and learning material also. So, uh, in teaching materials, it is pictures, posters, charts, objects, films, PPT, video, print material, model, puppets, masks, and cutouts, etc. Similarly, learning material includes worksheets, activity sheets, supplementary materials, reference materials, self-study units, games, and classroom displays. And what is common in between? Textbook, workbook, labs and library, CDs, and community resources. And what are the teacher's skills involved here? Visual, drawing skill. Communication skill, handwriting, photography, graphics, video recording. Now coming to the types of teaching learning materials. So broadly speaking, uh, it is divided into, th there are so many teaching learning materials. Like uh, already told earlier, TV, video, slide, projectors, all these are teaching learning material. So broadly speaking, it is uh, divided into three main categories. One is audio TLM, second is video TLM, and third is audio visual TLM. TLM is transfer teaching learning material. So uh, these are some of the examples. Like uh, right now I am speaking. So my voice is also an audio TLM if I am teaching in the class. Telephonic conversation, audio disc, tape recorders, radio broadcast. So all these appeal to the sense of hearing. Audio TLMs, they appeal to the sense of hearing. Similarly, when we see the next one, visual TLMs, they, uh, they, uh, they, there are uh, so many examples, blackboard, textbook, etc. So, all these uh, materials appeal the sense of sight. And the third category is audio visual TLM, which includes TV, video recording, motion picture, film, computer assisted instruction. So they appeal both auditory as well as sight senses. Now, these are some of the traditional as well as innovative materials. Like uh, educational videos, educational posters, podcast, screencast, and OER or 
or uh, open educational resources. So educational videos uh, are uh, what? They are the video which present educational material for a topic which is to be learned. The format may vary but it always consists of moving visual media. Similarly, educational posters, they are tools that enables visualization in the classroom to foster students' learning. And the best example is infographic, which is actually a collection of image, imagery, charts and minimal text that gives an easy to understand overview of the topic. It uses striking, engaging visual to, the, to communicate information quickly and clearly. Third one is a little bit new, new thing, podcast. So it is a set of audio recording. And podcasting allows content to be broadcast and distributed via over the internet. The re-recording work a lot like uh, uh, TV or radio series except that people listen to them on the demand and they are not a real-time broadcast. User can stream podcast online or can download them to a personal device for easy listening offline. Uh, the screencasts, they are the uh, digital video recording of what's happening on the teacher's computer or monitor. And usually they contains audio narrations. Examples are uh, tutorials, video lessons, recorded presentations, etc. And it is one of the most useful tools to use for digital storytelling. Open Educational Resources or OER, they are very fantastic type of instructional material because they are free to reuse, adapt and share. Moreover, they have been created to curated by the educational professional. It might take the form of lesson plan, quizzes, online articles, digital media, databases, simulation, and much more. So OER can be found in large collection or through search engine or may range from individual images to entire courses. This is, this is another classification of types of teaching learning material. More or less, it is same as uh, which I have discussed earlier. Only the terms are a little bit different. Like uh, types of TLM here is categorized into projected, graphic, activity aids. Means uh, there are some which can be projected on the screen and some which are not projected. Examples are more or less same. Now let's see some of the criteria in uh, selecting the instructional material. What are the main criteria? How to select this uh, instructional material? So, uh, it sh uh, we should consider some important criteria. Just the first point is 
it should be it should support the goal and objective of the curricula offering in which the materials will be used instructional material should be appropriate to the age emotional and social development and ability level of the student for whom the materials are selected it should be diverse with respect to level of difficulty readers appeal and should present a variety of points of view they should meet the standards of quality in factual content and presentation instructional materials should have aesthetic cultural literary and social values they should foster respect for men women disabled and minority groups and should portray a variety of roles and lifestyles open to people in today's world it should be designed to motivate students to examine their own attitude and behavior and to comprehend their own duties responsibilities rights and privileges as participating citizen in pluralistic society and they should encourage students to utilize higher order thinking skills to become informed decision makers to exercise freedom of thoughts and to make independent judgments through examination and evaluation of relevant information evidence and differing view points now key factors to consider so the first key factor is take into consideration individual needs and learning styles all the instructional materials then uh, the second is make sure ki materials support the learning objectives and make the materials clear and uh, accessible these are main key factor to consider for selecting any tlm and always keep in mind select while selecting and using tlm ki they are only uh, aids to instruction they are not going to replace the teacher so we should choose the instructional materials that best suits our instructional objective if possible we must use a variety of tools but uh, don't use all the tools at a time third most must check out tlm before class we must check out our tlm before the class starts to be sure if it is working properly or not and for result abide by the general utilization guides in the use of media like uh, first learn how to use your tlm 
provide conductive environment and then prepare introductory remarks questions or initial comment you may need now these are some of the forms of media and i am going to discuss their advantages and disadvantages both i have chosen only four important one audio recording examples like tape recording and compact discs etc bulletin board chalk board then charts uh audio recording so examples i have already already uh, told tapes records and compact discs all these comes under this audio recording <coughs> sorry they may in form of uh, teachers recorded students recorded or ready made tapes so advantages are, uh, these uh, these audio recordings are having some advantages like it improves listening skill it uh, it is also easy to operate and its best use is to improve speech skill and some disadvantages are uh, its extended use may bore the students and it is also costly if compared to the actual oral presentation and what are the guidelines to uh, how to use it preview the material and motivate the students to listen carefully to the important details the second is bulletin board it is usually uh, uh stationary you can see stationary thing which is on the wall or it can be movable and advantages are it can present a preview of the lesson to be presented as way uh, as way of motivating the students <laughs> the attractive displays can add life and color to the color to drape the room atmosphere and disadvantages are a good one needs time to plan and execute if we are in a hurry the display may fail in conveying the messages desired guideline items to be displayed must be uh, tastefully selected a well organized layout of the text and material can convey at once the idea then comes the traditional chalkboard it includes not only those with uh, traditional flat one and the wide surfaces but uh, they are also portable type which can be moved uh, or even as used as dividers and advantages of chalkboard easily available inexpensive easy to install uh, it can accommodate so much of writing space and easy to clean topics can be listed deleted or revised to final form disadvantages lesson or writing on the chalkboard are only a day use hence it is temporary and we cannot uh, use it again and again means we can't save it and uh, other disadvantage is chalk dust make the area messy guidelines we must ensure that chalkboard and eraser are clean and maintained otherwise it will not be legible plan ahead what you are going to write on the board never use the hand for erasing the things and uh, one very important thing stand in such a way that you don't block the view of the students while writing and lastly the charts may be of different forms like maps graphs photographs cutouts and they may be prepared graphic devices or poster advantages can be used again and again and they may be moved easily from one place to other 
again colored chart if it is colored chart it is more attractive disadvantage big charts they are if chart is big then it will create a little bit of problem to handle and they can be outdated after some time also charts we have to prepare again and again guidelines plan to make sure it fit to the lesson and avoid crowding the graphics to be shown when identifying a portion use a pointer now let me uh, ask you few very short statements what you whatever you have gained from this session till now uh, these are only statements you need to say uh, uh, yes or no or true or false you can say Uh, the very first statement is tlms are not a complete method of teaching but an aid to teaching is it true or false anyone can unmute yourself It is true. True, true, true. Yes, yes. True, 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 yes, true. true. Yes, true. Okay, okay. Thank you. The elements are not necessarily required in all lesson. True or false? True. 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 Yes. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. It is also true. <clears throat> teachers can use the pictures even if the students can see the or handle the real things is it true or false true true no this time it is false it is false it is false you do uh, need not to use the pictures when the students can see or handle the real things okay so it is false tlm should be adapted to the understanding and level of the class true or false true true, true. yes true. thank you this true. is true thank you so that's all for today's session and thank you all for listening me so patiently Well done, Sarita. Well you. done. Very Thank well you, done. Sir. Very, Thank very uh, precisely. You yes. differentiated and move forward as to how teaching aids and learning materials can be used and what is the difference. I, for the first time, understood the difference also. So that that's good. So well done. Very well Thank done. You. And Thank very you, well. sir. You to spoke at the right pace. That's the best part. you did the entire thing at the right pace very well done thank you sir thank you so much very well explained means a lot thank you sir thank you